Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I took like two or three days off and I felt so good. I cooked Thanksgiving for my family. We ate a ton. Of course, I got so bloated because I ate so much. But I'm back now. I've been missing my worms. I did come and check on them every day, but I didn't like work with them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to do that today. So sorry if my hair looks a little blue or purple or I don't know. My daughter did my henna and my hair because I color my hair with plants. And sometimes sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's purple. I don't know what color is going to come out. I guess it depends on the plant. But anyway, I got me some new headphones so I could listen to music and your videos while they play. And um, what else was I going to say? Well, I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> Let me go put up my hair because I can't work with this and uh, I'll bring you along with me today. Well, let's go. I don't know about you all, but people with long hair, like I can't work with this hanging down on my face. I just can't. So if any of you are interested that are new here and knowing how I color my hair with plants, just let me know down below. And I use henna, but I use a henna that's very pure. I think it comes from Morocco. I'm not even sure. Um, because I used to color my hair with chemicals and it, it like, it fried my hair. So anyway, this is how I do it. And um, I also condition my hair with uh, sage that I grow in my garden. So if you want to know about that, just let me know down below. So you like my shirt today? I found this like deep in the back of my closet. I haven't worn it in a while. It says grow with grace. So I like that because I'm going to be 52 and I'm aging, but I want to age with grace. <laughs> anyway, guys, I do have some wheatgrass that um, sprouted and I kind of forgot about it. But the good thing is it doesn't go to waste because the worms will gobble it right up. So when I do that, I'll show it to you and I'll bring you along with me. Okay, guys, let's go. So they're all doing okay. One thing I did notice was down here, these bins, because the air vent is up there, it seems to be a little drier on the edges. Um, we opened up the air vent up there so that the heat could start coming in. Even though the room is still holding at 70, because I have a thermometer on the wall. And, uh, but you know, winters here in Indiana, we do get cold sometimes and you know, I worry about them, so I don't want them to get cold. Um, last year, we had an ice storm, and I lost a lot of African night crawlers. Um, I did my best to keep them warm, but it was so cold outside that the heat in the house pumping into this room just wasn't enough. So 
I know it was sad. It was a sad moment, but you know, I just did my best and picked up where I left off and just did everything I could to bring them back. And I did. Um, but it was a little, little bit of a struggle, but it was okay. You know, I try to be positive about things. I know things can go wrong and they will go wrong for you sometimes. It's just part of the whole operation. You will have problems with, you know, pest or dryness or things happen. But you just got to know what caused it and just pick up from there and do your best to just bring everything back. Um, and that's all you can do, you know. Can't blame yourself for everything. So, <laughs> so I'm going to start watering them down and seeing if any of them hatched and um, if they did then I'm gonna start feeding them all right guys all right so the ones at the top over there with the heating mats I'm just bringing them down so I can just look at them because I like to look and just see what's going on because sometimes they're all the way up there and if I just go on my tippy toes like I can't really see. So I'm going to feed them a little bit because I do see some movement. Let's give them some water. I love this thing, guys. It holds four gallons of water and it's battery operated. Well, you have to charge the battery. And uh, it's coming very handy. Very handy. So see, some of these bins are a little drier than what I like. And I think it's because of the position of the vent. Like you see, this one's a little too dry on the edges for my liking. See, look. Now it's still wet in the middle and I do see little babies, but I have to get this moistened up again. Yeah, see all the, all the young ones, they've gone to the middle because that's where the moisture is. So what I do is I take the dry parts and I just incorporate them in. And I just gently fluff this up. Even it out. I'm going to feed them because I did see some movement. So we'll just give them a light little sprinkle. Water it down. So this one, since I noticed it gets a little drier than the others, I'm going to just give it a little extra. Even though, you know what, tomorrow, obviously I'm going to look at them again. But just for my peace of mind. Because I try to be a good worm mama, you know. <laughs> Even though, guys, trust me, I'm not perfect at this. I have made a lot of mistakes. I sure have. But, you know, that's how you learn. If you don't try something, how are you going to ever know? So, see, this one was right below it, and it seems more moist. It's that upper right corner, that upper left corner. I don't know why. So, but even though it feels moist, I still wet them down. Because, you know, they're going to be on the heat mat. So, just give them, trying to give them a really good chance so I do see some movement in here so I'm gonna feed them and I just pop the cover back on let's just give them one all right this plastic definitely holds the moisture in. If I didn't have the plastic on them, they would definitely like dry out 100%. So, and I don't lift every bin out of this entire thing. Only sometimes the ones at the top are ones that I really want to look at for whatever reason, you know. It's good to stay on top of your worms and just know what's happening in their environment. See, I feel it nice and warm down here where the heat mat was, but not, not hot to where it hurts them. So that was definitely a good idea. So let's wet them. Let's feed them. Uh-oh, I ran out of water.
I'll be back. Let's go fill her up. So I filled up my thing with water. It holds four gallons, but when I started out, it wasn't full. So this one has dry edges up here. Other than that, though, it's okay. I'm starting to see some young worms. Where are they? There's a young one right there. So, uh, um, are you guys... Are you guys interested in watching the month of December like people do vlogmas for Christmas? Like I think every day they'll do a little short video, some kind of vlog in here or or what I'm doing out there. What do you all think? Let me know down below. It's been nice to have a few days off, but, you know, I never really stopped doing things. <laughs> if I'm not doing one thing, I'm doing another thing. I just, I don't know. I just like doing things. <laughs> right now I'm reading a book about um, some Amish drama. I don't know, but it looked good. It's like a murder mystery. Yep, we're back in action here. Now I only press this down a little bit. If I would have pushed this all the way, I think the castings would up on the wall. <laughs> and this has different heads to attach to it. But sometimes it's more comfortable for me like this. So remember, cocoons, they need moisture to hatch. If not, you're not hatching any cocoons. Moisture is life. That's what they need. And you'll start seeing like little teeny movement on the surface here or there. That's how you know they're like starting. So, not bad. It's not bad. Look guys, this is how you know there's something going on. There's worms in the bin. When you start seeing your newspaper like this, they're definitely alive because <laughs> they're eating it. It's another little sign that you can tell. So look in here. See? They're tiny. They're starting to hatch. They're young. Yep. Hi, baby. That took me about 45 minutes to water everything and give them a little food, the ones that I just saw movement, you know. 
45 minutes it took me. Now the rest of the time that I'm down here, I focus on the other side of the wall and the nursery bins. And then I try to clean up the floor and all that. If I don't have time to clean up the floor, I just don't. My priority is feeding them water and making sure that they're okay. I mean, this is like a farm, so, well, kind of like an indoor farm. I do have my outside, but <laughs> these guys are inside. So I hope you learned something today. Like and subscribe. Check out my other channel, The Composting Worm Lady. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Take care.